Hi everybody and welcome back to Crane Videos. Uh, so we've been building some uh, pipe lamps and some people were, saw this lamp, uh, this one here in particular, and they were wanting to know how we mounted the actual socket for the LED light bulb, the Edison bulb, into the pipe itself. Uh, so we're going to give a quick little tutorial on how, uh, how the easy little fix I found for that. So all this was stuff that uh, easily was found at uh, Home Depot. And what I like is I use a three quarter to inch and a half uh, coupler. And also these sockets you can find in the electrical department of Home Depot. And they're just your very basic, just nice heavy duty rubberized light socket. Uh, but on this three quarter to inch and a half, they fit in there just, uh, it's just a perfect fit in there. And so what I do is I take a, uh, I'll put it in here just like this and then I'll take a just your simple very basic hot glue gun and run around the perimeter and just go along and fill it up And then let that dry. If you have a couple little low spots or any little holes, you can always come back. Like right there, we have a little bit of a low spot and add just a little bit more. And once it cools just a little bit, depending on how sensitive your fingers are, You can just tap down any little spots and then usually what I do is uh, when we do the lamps like the one I just showed you we go through and we paint the lamps and as you can see here this lamp has all been nice and painted and so we actually will take and I'll stuff a bunch of paper on the inside of the light socket and just paint the whole thing and then it ends up just blending in really nicely and you'll never even notice any little imperfections you have uh, if you don't have the, the glue just nice and perfect. Uh, if you do end up with any little, right there, I think I have one little tiny high spot, uh, you can just take a little razor blade. It's actually still just a little. Could have let it cool off a little bit more. Uh, but you can take a razor blade once it cools off and then trim down any spots that uh, aren't to your liking or that you want to smooth out a little bit more. Anyways, uh, I hope that's uh, helpful for you all out there. Uh, happy building, enjoy, and thanks for watching.